Is this thing on? Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're checking out the brand new Opal Tadpole. You might have heard of Opal before. They got a lot of attention after influencers like Casey Neistat and MKBHD invested in the small hardware startup and they made the Opal C1, which got a lot of attention, but it had some significant drawbacks. One, it was too expensive. Two, it was too large, especially for like a laptop. And three, it only really worked on Macs. And now the Tadpole kind of fixes all three of those in a pretty significant way. It's about one half the price, one fifth the size. Like I said, this is about the size of an iPod shuffle and it works on both Mac and Windows. So this just launched and I've partnered with Opal to show you guys some of the new features and to showcase some of the footage that I captured with this. And even though this video is sponsored, I'm keeping it as objective as possible, only talking about the facts, only showing you real footage so you can decide for yourself how this compares to say the built-in webcam or continuity camera or other webcams out on the market. So with that being said, let's start off with what comes in the box here. Okay, so let's take a closer look. It comes in a pretty small box. There are two different colors is a white one and a black one and inside you really just have the camera like the camera has a little rubber cover on it so if you want to you know block the lens and for security or privacy reasons you could totally do that or just to protect the lens you could do that when you're traveling and then you can see on the back it has like a little bit of a clip so you can pinch it it'll clip onto the top of like a macbook or really any laptop quite easily and you have a built-in cable it's a usb type c cable so it plugs in and it's able to reach either side of my laptop pretty well i've tried this on a lot of different laptops and it always reaches for me. It looks like we have a little bit of a heat sink on the back, so hopefully this is not getting too warm. And on the USB Type-C, like where it plugs in, you can see there actually is like a pretty large face there that works as a touchpad to be a mute button. So when I'm using this, if I want to mute myself during a call or whatever, I could tap that, a red light turns on there, and a little red light turns on on the front of the camera. When it's recording, there's a white LED, so you should always know uh, if you're recording or if you're muted, as long as you know what those colors mean. And you also have the option to get this little plastic case so you can put the tadpole in there uh, and then when you close it, it's all protected and the USB type C cable that's attached to it works as like a lanyard basically so you could hang this off of something or just throw it in your bag and it's, it's really quite compact. And I have to say when you, when you put it in this case, that's when it really makes sense why they called it the tadpole. Like it's a little tiny device with a, a pretty long tail there. It, it kind of like it does look like a tadpole. I think that's uh, it's very aptly named. I think that makes sense. So from my time with the Opal tadpole, there's really four main things I think they were aiming for when they designed this. The first one is this is obviously a laptop first webcam. It's meant for a laptop. It's not meant to clip onto the top of a monitor or any other desktop, an iMac, for example. This thing is small, it's compact, it has a little clip on the back, and it was designed for a laptop, which is honestly very unique. Most other webcams are not designed laptop first, so it's going to give them a different angle here. And if you're somebody who uses your laptop for streaming or for a lot of video calls, or if you just want to record something and, and use it in some content later, then that could be appealing to you. The second thing is they really focused a lot on image quality, much like the original Opal C1. Image quality was a big part of this, and I think the image quality on here is aiming to be even better than the Opal C1. The third thing, of course, is the audio quality, as you'll see throughout this video. They do try to block out a lot of the sounds around you, because obviously with a laptop, you're not always sitting in a desk or an office environment. Sometimes you're in a coffee shop or on a train or somewhere else, and and it might be important to block out a lot of that sound. And we'll get into a lot of testing of that and we'll see how well that performs. All right, so this is like pretty loud in here. Pretty bad lighting. Um, obviously a lot of sounds. And I'm using my uh, Asus Zenbook because it's a Windows laptop. Honestly, not that great. Now this is the Opal Tadpole. It's really loud in here. Um, it's like coffee grinders and stuff going off. So hopefully you can hear what I'm saying. Um, again, really bad lighting here. I apologize for that, but this is gonna be an ultimate test here, really. If this can do well here, it can do well absolutely anywhere. But the fourth thing is that this really does aim to be simple. Like you don't have other cables to plug in. You don't have to uh, like, you don't have to find a mute button on your laptop or any other settings. You clip it on, you plug it in, the mute button's built into it. It's ready to go. It covers your old webcam. So I think to really keep things honest, we need to compare this to the other options out there, the built-in webcam, continuity camera, and other webcams out there. So of course the first option is going to be the default webcam that's built onto basically every laptop out there. And there are some big advantages with this. For one, it's easy, it's always there. You don't have to bring anything. You open your laptop and it's ready to go. It's always connected. But there are, of course, quite a few downsides with this. For one, the resolution. Right here, I'm using an M1 Max MacBook Pro, which is widely regarded to have one of the best webcams on any laptop. The MacBook Pros do a great job with this. But many other laptops out there, 
specifically some more affordable Windows laptops, tend to have a much lower resolution. But even this right here is only 1080p, and it's a really tiny sensor, which means in lower light, you have a lot more noise and a lot more grain. So right here, I'm in a studio, and even here in such a bright environment, there is a lot of noise in this image. So it's not going to be the best resolution. The second drawback is that the microphones pick up everything around you, but a lot of people use laptops on the go. And so if you're in a coffee shop or on a train or somewhere louder, then you're gonna have all this stuff around you and you're not going to block that and focus on your voice without some third party software. The third drawback is that there is no autofocus on here. You'll see exactly what I mean by that in a second, but a quick example is that if I wanna show you, say my watch, for example, you can see my watch, but I'm also still in focus. So it's a lot harder to demonstrate things on this camera. So the next option is the continuity camera, which is only available on Apple. Essentially, if you have a MacBook and you have an iPhone, you can use your iPhone, the rear camera, and that'll work as your webcam. So the benefits here, in my opinion, this is the best quality. You're using obviously one of the best cameras that you can have in your pocket uh, as your webcam. So it's to be expected you're gonna have great quality in any environment. Unfortunately, it only works with Apple right now. I think Qualcomm is working on something that you can use this on Androids and Windows in the future, but as of right now, Apple's the only one that really does this. Additionally, it is pretty heavy on a MacBook. Like, you have an iPhone, picture like an iPhone 15 Pro Max or 14 Pro Max sitting on top of your MacBook, and you have some hardware to mount it on, it's gonna be a little bit heavy. And the other drawback is that you can't use your iPhone while it's there. Like, if I'm getting notifications, if I want to like use my calendar or my calculator, literally anything else that I'd want on my iPhone, I can't use it while it's mounted for a video call. But if you are okay with that, then this is obviously a great option. And then of course we have the Opal Tadpole, as you can see in here right now. And so there are a lot of positives to this, but starting off with the downsides, the first one is that you would have to remember to bring this with you. Like it's an extra device that you wanna bring so you can use it when you're on a video call or recording or anything like that. But Getting to the positives, one, this has the highest resolution out of all the cameras I showed you in this video. This is filming in 4K right now, and with that, you're getting a, like obviously more resolution. It also has a much larger sensor, so you're not getting nearly as much grain. Everything looks very clean and crisp on the, on the camera, to me at least. Uh, and of course, you are getting some improvements with the microphone. The microphone, as you can hear, is much more focused on my voice. There's a little bit of compression, so it cuts out everything around you. But we'll go into a noisier environment, and I think that's really going to demonstrate this even better. Oh, and of course, as I mentioned before, we do have a mute button. So when I'm talking, if I was done talking... So I don't know if you can read lips, but I just muted it there. And, and essentially, you have a red light that comes on that tells you that you are muted, which could be a really valuable feature when you're in a call. There are three more big benefits with this. One, this does have the Opal Composer software available. So there are some other features you can tweak in here. Two, this has autofocus. So for example, if I wanted to show you like my watch, I could hold it up close. It'll focus in on the watch and look how much better that looks. Like you're not looking at me, you're looking at the watch. Like anything I'm demonstrating, it readjusts and look at that. That just looks so much better if I'm showing you something in a call and then it'll refocus and re-expose uh, itself for me. And then the final positive is unlike uh, the built-in webcam, I could actually unclip this and show you like something else on my desk. If I wanted to illustrate something or show you some type of writing, I could move this camera around as much as I would need to. So that is definitely valuable. And then obviously a third option would be other webcams on the market. And in general, the positives here are that these can be very, very affordable. You can find some very cheap ones, but the downside is that most of them are designed for desktops. For example, this one right here is absolutely massive and, and it has cool features. Like it's got this little bar light on the top. So in a darker room, maybe you're more well lit, but it requires a second power source. So you have to plug in another cable to the wall and then you have a cable that plugs into your desktop. And then, like I said, it's obviously massive. So like this can't even sit on a laptop because it just, it's just too heavy. And honestly, this thing doesn't even have that great of video quality. Now, some do have great video quality, but again, you have some drawbacks there. A positive though is that sometimes they are very affordable. So if you're really on a budget, maybe one of those would be a great option for you. Okay, so let's kind of tie it all together and summarize who would this Opal Tadpole actually be for? For one, it's going to be ideal for laptop users. If you're a desktop user, you could still use this and it's perfectly fine, but it's definitely designed for laptops. Secondly, if you have a laptop that you're not happy with the webcam or you want autofocus or you otherwise just want better quality or better microphones on there, then this could be a great purchase for you as well, especially if you're doing any kind of live streaming uh, or if you're just on a lot of video calls and you want to look a little bit better in the calls that's a great option thirdly if you have a macbook but you don't want to use continuity camera because you want to use your iphone 
having something like this could be a great option. And fourthly, anybody just looking for cool new tech that is backed by Casey Neistat and Marquez Brownlee, then yeah, maybe the Opal Tadpole is the one for you to get. But that's my summary of the Opal Tadpole. There's a lot of cool features on here. There's definitely, it's not going to be for absolutely everybody out there, but hopefully some of this sample footage helped you decide for yourself. So if you enjoyed the video, consider liking and subscribing.